every Gen 5 meat writer is seething right now. If you haven't heard the news, Pokemon Day happened, and we got some cool stuff. And like everything Nintendo does, it has divided the Pokemon fanbase in two. Look, I don't know y'all's opinions about it, but this, for me, was one of the best trailers from Pokemon in a very long time. I'll say it loud and proud, I'm a Gen 6-er. I love Pokemon X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I know a lot of people hate them, and the reasons that people hate them are very valid. However, I don't care. My opinion matters more than yours, and fairy type go burr. Seriously though, did anybody actually predict a second Pokemon Legends, much less a Gen 6 version? Like I said, I love Kalos, but I really expected Game Freak to just kind of ditch it forever. I thought it was forgotten, but now it's back, and now I'm way too excited about it. I already have my theories, like, like, hear this. A lot of people have already been debating on whether this game takes place in the past or the future. And this makes sense, because the trailer shows the plans for Lumio City about to be built. However, we also get this very holographic version of Lumio City when we see it, and it seems very futuristic. But here's my theory. We just got off the coattails of Generation 9, which was about the past and the future. And you know how in those games after you defeat the AI professor, they either go to the future or the past? Well, it's my belief that the Pokemon Legends AZ games will take place in the times that that time machine sent the professors to in both Scarlet and Violet. I think one of them is going to be futuristic and the other is going to be in the past. So then we can get Paradox Pokemon, we can get regional forms, and the new Mega Evolutions that they tease at the end of the trailer. It might sound like a crazy idea, and it probably is, but I'm going to believe it until proven otherwise. All right, that's all I got for this video. Bye!